Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, just figured I would do a quick video update because why the hell not? Um, I just woke up a little bit ago. I just got a package in the mail. I figured why not do an unboxing? Uh, didn't do one yesterday. Mostly because I, I didn't know what to expect. The other day, literally, I'm not even kidding you, with one of my orders, I gotta cover some of it up, but the other day, I got porn! Random porn. How about that? Three discs. So I didn't know what to expect when I opened uh, the last package. So this one I kind of know what to expect. Uh, yesterday this also showed. I can't find the artwork anywhere, but uh, I got the new Eclectica album as a promo. I can't find the artwork anywhere. I, it's got to be right over here or over here somewhere. I don't know. So I'm going to tear into that. I'm going to try and get to that tonight, if not sometime later on in the week. But, I know what this is. From Nordvis, wherever the hell, there we go, Nordvis. And yeah, you guys just saw my address. Ooh. I don't care. If you don't care at all, send me shit. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. I am excited to get them. There's that. And the flyer on the back. <laughs> For what I just ordered. If you guys didn't know, it was on my website. I read the news article. Summoning. Uh, Nordvis picked up two of Summoning's albums to reissue on limited edition cassette. And I got them. When I say limited edition, I mean there's only 150 being pressed. So if you guys didn't get them yet, hmm, better hurry up and order. Cause I drop one under exclusive license from Napalm Records. Okay, yeah, need a smorgle. <laughs> and Dol Gulder. Let's see, I am a summoning fan. I don't really have much of their stuff, but. I'm a fan. I, I really enjoy their work. So I'm actually really anxious to throw these on my, uh, throw these into the cassette player and give them a spin. Or, you know, hit play and let the tape run, however you want to put it. I'm a child of the cassette era, I admit. I don't have many cassettes at all, but that's really when I grew up. I grew up at the start of the CDs, CD era. Anyhow. Uh, just a quick update, I know I didn't do any sort of video review this week, although I did two last week, which I kind of think makes up for it. Um, main reason being I've just been insanely busy. Um, I, I had to... I, I, that I've been celebrating in a way. Uh, since 2005, I have been fighting with my local disability office to finally get disability, because God knows I need it for my MS, and I finally got it. Uh, I got it. I got the letter Tuesday last week, so I've kind of been, you know, celebrating because I got on it. I'm happy. Uh, this means I'm going to not have to worry so much about things anymore, about having to push myself and putting myself back in the hospital just to try and pay bills, so I'm happy about that. But that means I could also focus more on my site. I could focus more on doing the things that I want to do. I could focus more on doing these videos, uh, doing some music reviews as well, and not just one random movie review a week. Uh, I could try and focus more on doing actual phone and Skype interviews again, uh, outside of what I just recently did. And if you haven't checked them out, check my video log, uh, video collection, whatever it is. Uh, you can find some interviews with Immolation, Dark Tranquility, which eh, didn't go too well, and um, and Arsis. Those are some recent ones I did. Uh, there are a bunch on the site, too, that are just text. Uh, also, recently, uh, Dined in Hell, basically. I did a full night of reviewing Hill's Headbangers material. I got four reviews hammered out one night. Sarah Cloth and um, Atomic Aggressor, Split, 7-inch they did. I uh, got a couple of those done. Uh, on top of all this, I'm gonna go back to college, or try at least, um, 
I'm going to see if I can finish up doing it over the internet, which I, I don't think I can, but I'm going to try and finish up my college degree finally. I was only two classes away from completing before the MS really screwed me over. Uh, that getting kicked out where I was living and having to work full time for many, many years to try and make a living to try and keep the apartment. Uh, what else? There was... I, I'm planning not just to do these videos, but something else I've wanted to do for a while. I'm thinking about opening up a distribution, uh, an online distro, so that may happen as well uh, by the end of the year. I'm actually very anxious and excited to try and do something like that. Uh, one other thing I want to look into, and probably won't happen until sometime next year, I want to start up my own record label, not just a distribution thing. Uh, I, I'd like to kind of do what Metal Mind Productions does, uh, pick up old albums, reissue them, but not like a remastered reissue. I'm talking, I would love to pick up some of the old albums that I love that were kind of neglected and reissue them on vinyl or make it the first time they're available on vinyl, something like that. Hey, maybe I might do it to some summoning. I don't know. We'll see. But that's just a quick update. Uh, there's a lot more going on. Uh, I got a lot more planned for the site. I, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys very much for sticking around, uh, checking out some of my videos, checking out some of the interviews. I really appreciate it. Uh, please keep checking the website too, apochs.net, apox.net. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the hits. I appreciate all the support. And please bear with me. Uh, the disability kicks in sometime in... Starts in June. I should get my first check in July. So I'm going to have more time to actually get things done. Um, wanted to do a video review for God Mode as well. That was one thing I wanted to mention, but I just wound up doing a text review. I just haven't had the time to actually do a video review lately. And that one was kind of time sensitive. Uh, still want to get one done on the Capcom Arcade Cabinet and uh, Runner 2. Those two are things I've been looking forward to actually getting reviews done on. And I might do video reviews over this week. I don't know. Um, still looking to try and see Lords of Salem before it leaves theaters, so we'll see what happens there. And there's a couple other movies I want to see. I want to get my hands on that new Night of the Living Dead reanimation, I think it is, film. Just because I, I enjoy Night of the Living Dead. I wouldn't, I don't like all the re uh, all the remakes, but this one looks a little interesting. Hell of a lot better than Night of the Living Dead 3D reanim- uh, or Night of the Living Dead reanimated, I think. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's one I could do, too. Night of Living Dead Reanimator. That one kind of bugged me. I don't know. Alright, well, anyhow, I'm done blabbering on. So, please feel free to check out the website. Keep an eye out. I might actually do a discussion article on these. Also, uh, one thing I did... One last thing I did want to mention. Um, I think we all know Jeff Hanneman from Slayer. Uh, that one hit me directly. Uh, I'm actually going to do a video, probably later on this week, where I'm going to just share some of my favorite Slayer stories, uh, <laughs> which includes being chased by Slayer security guards for coming uh, half a building length away from their tour bus. Uh, I'm also going to start a new video series called uh, Tales from the Pit. My cat is just scratching away. Hold on. She went to the bathroom. She needs positive reinforcement. There you go. See? Positive reinforcement, she's done. Uh, but yeah, a series called Tales from the Pit. It's going to be basically just random tales, such as uh, the origin concert in the, uh, in the building behind the magic shop. Uh, I'm sorry, the high school cafeteria behind the magic shop. So that should be an interesting series. Um, but on the topic of Jeff, um, I pay tribute. I, I hate doing list articles. I can't stand writing lists. I even hate doing the end of the year recap, like the top 20 of the year. I hate doing these things. But I did decide uh, in Jeff's honor to do a top five, which is a uh, my top five Slayer albums. And a couple people wrote me and they were surprised at two or three of them and where they were placed. Uh, it's an interesting read. Feel free to check it out. It's more of a personal list than, uh, oh, this is a superb album for this quality reason, so it deserves to be here. Um, I'm probably going to keep doing these lists. I didn't like them that much, but considering how well it took off, I figured, why not? So check that out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I might be doing some of those in video. I don't know. But 